Hello students, in this lecture we will uh, uh, take uh, introduction to syllabus that is uh, for that uh, radiation and micro techniques subject. So this is a teaching scheme for this uh, subject. Lectures are 3 hours per week, practicals are 2 hours per week, in same exam 30, uh, 30 marks and in same exam is of 70 marks. Oral is of 50 marks, term work is of, uh, of 50 marks. So here laboratory practice one is there, which is a combination of this radiation and microwave techniques and mobile communication. So course objectives, first is to introduce fundamental theory of radiation and microwaves to understand design principle of various radiating elements. Third objective is to understand theory of passive and active components of microwave systems. Fourth objective is to learn micro measurement techniques. Course outcomes. Uh, first, to differentiate various performance parameters of radiating elements. Second is to analyze various radiating elements and areas. Third, apply the knowledge of waveguide fundamentals in design of transmission lines. Fourth outcome is to design and set up a system consisting of various passive micro components. Fifth is to analyze tube base and solid state active devices along with their applications. Six major various performance parameters of micro components. Unit one, that is a fundamental theory of radiation and radiating element. In that first we have to derive fundamental equation for free space propagation or also called as free transmission equation. Also we have to take problems on that. Second, definition of antenna, radiation mechanism and types of antenna. We have to define antenna, different types of definition are there. Antenna is a transducer uh, which can transmit electromagnetic waves and also receives. Radiation mechanism in that we have to study how, how antenna radiates electromagnetic waves and also receives waves. Then different types of antennas we have to study. Aperture antenna, helical antenna, then uh, micro strip patch antenna, then parabolic reflector antenna, lens antenna, different types of antenna structures uh, we have to study. Then next performance parameters. In that we have to study different definitions and some mathematical treatment of these parameters. These parameters are important for the antenna. First is the radiation pattern. Directivity, gain, efficiency, half power beam width that is yes, PBW, bandwidth, then polarization. In that we have to study uh, elliptical polarization, circular polarization, input impedance, then next radiation efficiency, effective length, effective area. Then third chapter is radiating, uh, second chapter is radiating elements and array. So in that we have to study. Uh, comparison of various radiating elements such as infinitesimal dipole, small dipole, finite length dipole, half wavelength dipole and analytical treatment of these elements. So in that here we have to derive uh, expression or mathematical analysis of all these uh, dipoles. Then next is a planar log periodic and Yagyuda antenna. Types of arrays, two element array, n element array, uniform amplitude, uh, uniformly spaced linear broadside and end fire array. Transmission lines and waveguide. This is the third chapter. Here first we have to study. So from this third chapter we have to start electromagnetic engineering. Here general solution of transverse electromagnetic wave, transverse electric, transverse magnetic waves. We have to also give difference or explain difference between TE and TM waves. Then analysis of coaxial line and rectangular waveguide. Here what is waveguide? Waveguide is a hollow metallic tube is called as a waveguide. Then analysis of rectangular cavity resonator and their applications. Cavity resonator is a waveguide which uh, in which Two ends are closed. Then next is the strip lines. In that uh, we have to study different structural details, types and its applications. Different applications of strip line. Then fourth chapter is a passive microwave components. 
so in that we have to study construction working principle and scattering analysis of passive micro components such as e plane t h plane t and magic t then next is a fried composition in that characteristics and faraday's rotation principle that is a isolator circulator all these operates on this faraday rotation principle so next is a construction working principle and scattering analysis of isolator circulator directional coupler and construction and operation of gyrator then next is a active micro component in that we have to study limitation of conventional tubes so previously conventional tubes are used but there are different limitations four to five limitations are there and these limitations are overcome in this o and m type tubes that is uh, o means original and m means cross field tubes uh, we have to take classification of these tubes in that uh, uh, o, o type tube we have to classify these tubes uh, o and m type tubes so in the classification we have to study uh, uh, passive uh, or uh, different uh, components of this uh, o type tubes then uh, return cavity velocity modulation we have to define velocity modulation also then construction operation performance analysis and applications uh, of a single cavity two cavity klystron cylindrical wave uh, magnetron helical or helix traveling wave tube so uh, here in the klystron we have to study what is bunching process uh, and velocity modulation then next is a construction working principle and application of two terminal micro devices such as tunnel diode gun diode squatty barrier diode and varactor diode so these are the very important devices which are using micro that is a tunnel diode gun diode operates in a negative resistance region micro systems and micro measurement techniques here uh, in this chapter uh, basically micro terrestrial and satellite communication system and also industrial application of micro such as micro heating thickness and moisture measurement medical applications such as micro dye therapy micro measurement devices such as slotted line tunable detector vswr meter power meter and their working principles so in this uh, also in practicals we have to study all these components and also measurements uh, we have to study and also perform the experiment so micro measurement techniques to measure uh, yes parameters frequency power attenuation phase shift vswr and impedance measurement then radiation hazards and protection so all there are uh, overall six chapters and uh, one by one in detail we have to study so for in same first three chapters are there for in same exam so next textbooks for this subject uh, first is a ca balanis antenna theory and analysis design by this balanis and uh, next is a live books micro device science circuit then annapurna das and sishir k das books that is a micro engineering uh then reference books are different reference books as mentioned here in syllabus poser uh, by, by micro engineering then ahmad khan micro engineering concept and fundamentals kd prasad uh, author is antenna and wave propagation ke liye then micro and radar engineering by yam kulkarni so and uh, also jordan balman book is uh, author's book is uh, electromagnetic waves and radiation system so uh, mainly this uh, lio samuel lio book is uh, important for micro engineering and also ca balanis is used for antenna theory and also for antenna theory uh, kd prasad that is antenna and wave propagation this book is useful so radiation so basically how uh, electromagnetic waves are radiated this is the animation uh, shown in this so re different radiation elements that is the earth station then vsat and then direct to home services uh, our for uh, our tv applications then satellite 
So different antennas are used to transmit and receive signal called as a radiation elements. So uh, in this, after introduction of syllabus, certain prerequisites uh, are there or in the third year in electromagnetic uh, engineering or electromagnetic subject, uh, we have studied uh, what is mean by E. E is a electric field intensity, H magnetic field intensity, D is a electric flux density, B magnetic flux density and also relations. These relations are very important. Uh, that is a relation between T and E that is D is equal to epsilon E, B is equal to mu H, J is equal to sigma E, where uh, constant epsilon 0 permittivity, mu 0 permeability and sigma is a conductivity. Okay. These are the constant values. Then next Maxwell sequence in static conditions. In the previous uh, uh, year, we have studied these Maxwell's equations. So Maxwell's equation in uh, point form, in DBEH form we have taken, but here I have shown uh, del cross E is equal to 0, del cross EH is equal to J, and del dot D is equal to rho V, and uh, uh, del dot B is equal to 0. This curl of electric field intensity is equal to 0, known as Faraday's law, and this is uh, a curl of magnetic field intensity denoted by J ampere circuit law and this is a uh, Maxwell's uh, first equation that is a divergence T is equal to volume charge density also known as a Gauss law. Also in integral form we have studied these equations. Then Maxwell's equation in time varying field. Curl of electric field intensity is given by minus dabba B by dabba T known as a Faraday's law. Then curl of this magnetic field intensity is given by J plus dabba D by dabba T known also known as the ampere circuit law. Then del dot D is equal to rho V uh, known as a Gauss law and divergence D is equal to uh, 0 or del dot B is equal to 0 uh, also Gauss law for magnetostatics and all these are the integral forms that is by applying divergence theorem and Stokes theorem we have derived this integral form. So any general vector a bar is given by real part that is a as e raised to j omega t then if we differentiate this equation dabba a by dabba t we will get real j omega as e raised to j omega t that is time variation of vector a bar is equivalent to multiplying its phasor by j omega therefore dabba d by dabba t is equal to j omega d and dabba b by dabba t is equal to j omega b. Maxwell's equations in phasor form. This uh, Maxwell's equation in phasor form, we have also studied this equation in the last year, uh, revised these equations. Uh, so, curl of electric field intensity is equal to minus J omega B. Then, curl of um, magnetic field intensity is equal to J plus J omega D. And uh, del dot D is equal to rho V, same equation and del dot b is equal to 0. These are the integral forms. Then fundamental equation for free space. In the previous lecture, uh, previous year, we have derived fundamental equation or wave equation for free space. So uh -huh. using the vector entity, that is uh, identity, curl of uh, del cross A is equal to del dot, uh, del into bracket del dot A minus del square A. So this is a vector identity. Uh, Maxwell's equation we have from phasor form curl of electric field intensity is equal to J minus of J omega mu H. And uh, if uh, we uh, take curl of both sides of above equation, then we will get del del dot E minus del square E um, is equal to minus J omega mu del, square, uh, del cross H. If we put the value of this curl of H that is from phasor equation minus j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon e bar. Assume that region of interest contains only point charge surface and no volume charge. So we can mention rho v is equal to 0 and divergence d is equal to 0. Therefore del dot e is equal to 0. If del dot e is equal to 0 
uh, if we put in this equation then minus del square e is equal to minus j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon e bar here we get the term that is a gamma uh, known as propagation constant uh, j omega mu sigma plus j omega epsilon uh, therefore uh, del square e bar we will get uh, equation gamma square e bar and similarly del square h bar is equal to gamma square h bar and uh, also this equation known as a wave equation or helmholtz equations assumptions are there certain the direction of propagation is along z direction it can be any x y z uh, where uh, wave is in a transverse electromagnetic mode the field is a constant uh, uniform in the plane perpendicular to the direction of propagation so this is a in form, uh, instantaneous form of the equation that is ex is equal to ex s0 e raised to minus alpha j cos of bracket omega t minus beta z where omega time uh, omega t means t is a time component uh, and beta is a direction of propagation and alpha is a attenuation this is a three dimensional electromagnetic wave uh, lamination shown in this figure mm, also we have taken these formulas that is a uh, gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta and gamma is equal to under root of j omega mu sigma plus j omega uh, sigma plus j epsilon omega by equating real and imaginary parts we will get alpha and beta values this equation we will get and alpha is known as attenuation constant or attenuation factor of the medium it is a measure of spatial rate of decay of the wave in the medium measure in neighbors per meter and or in decibels in this formulas we have also taken in the last year so thank you so uh, this is a introduction to this radiation and micro technique so subject is uh, interesting uh, you can uh, is, is there there is a uh, some mathematical treatment in this uh, subject that is a second chapter there is a mathematical analysis and also in third chapter some part is not included in syllabus but we have to study that is a uh, uh, basics of microwaves uh, micro frequency ranges then also uh, we have to study application advantages and history of microwave so one by one in the next lectures uh, we will study this subject in detail okay thank you